Hello all, I am Kamlesh Patel representing Practice Peer Assessment Learning Dialogue and Reflection Spot Activity assigned during the workshop organized by IIT Bombay on Pedagogy Workshops on How to Teach Programming Basic. In order to explain this activity, I have chosen the topic the loop control structure. The objectives of this discussion is to explain the categories of loop control structure, the different loop constructs in programming language C++, understand the functioning of each loop control structure, identify an output of code snippet where there is a use of loop programming concept and also for a given strip with one loop construct how to transform into another let me just begin with what is loop so a loop is a programming structure that repeat a sequence of instructions until a specific condition is met basically there are two different types of loop control structure one is entry control loop and other one is exit control loop the loop construct in programming language c++ are four loop control structures the while and the do while along with this along with this three programming uh, loop construct there is a one unconditional jump statement using this uh, unconditional jump statement one can also perform the same task that can be performed by the loop control structures so we can say there are four different ways to perform a repetitive task in programming language c++ let us discuss one by one if we will see the for loop then the syntax of the for is the initialization the test expression increment or decrement and the action so here how this for loop is going to execute so first when the for loop executes the first part which is going to execute is initialization once the initialization is done it will immediately check the condition let me just write the number here this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 i am just specifying the number i am not specifying the order of execution so here say after execution of the element 1 initialization it will check the condition so let me just write here diamond symbol and say the second step is going to be performed here if it is satisfied if the result of this expression is yes then it is going to execute a set of statement that is the action and then it will go to the increment or decrement part so third one and then again it will go back to the condition so here there is a loop cycle you can see so this is the execution of four loop control structure that is while and here is the syntax of while where initialization is not mentioned if initialization is not mentioned you should have to locate the memory status a memory location what is the value so let me take one example here what is the output of this code snippet while i less than equal to 3 see out hello and end l if i write this the same uh, rule is also applicable here if the programming uh, loop control structures uh, has only one statement then curly braces can be ignored right so i'm not writing it here so can you tell me what is the output of this yes somebody says uh, the three times hello is going to print no exactly not because the value of i is not known to you so let us assume now the value of i equal to one if it is one yes exactly you are right the hello is going to print three times hello hello and hello right so i hope you understand this okay 
So in the while loop control structures, the initialization part is not mentioned, but we should understand the value is to be initialized at before entering into this while loop control structure. POS is the text expression. So if you draw the flowchart, when you enter into the while, immediately it is going to check the condition. So say text expression. If it is true, then it's, it is going to perform an action. And then this increment decrement, which is not compulsory, it is not mandatory, but I have just mentioned to understand the value that you have used uh, in the test expression should be progressively reached towards the end. That's why I mentioned here, you can consider as a part of the actions or you can mention it separately, increment or decrement. And then again, it is going to repeat here to test the expression. It is going to continue till the condition is met. If condition does not met, it will go and say terminate the loop. So this is the end of while loop. End of while loop. Right. So this is the execution flow of while loop. Similarly, let me go uh, for the third programming construct that is do while. Here is the syntax. Sorry, this is a while loop syntax. Let me write here. So I'm just what I'm going to do is remove this part. Okay and just write here do and whatever you have mentioned here that you might write after the closing curly bracket while and here test expression i have not i have not mentioned the syntax of do while intensely intensely because you can come to know how to remember it so it is same as while syntax just you need to replace the uh, the while loop uh, with the do word and the uh, while should be at the end of loop and this one so again here when you if you look at uh, to the flow chart say it will immediately go in a loop there is no condition to be checked so directly it is going to perform an action then increment decrement which is not mandatory just uh, to mention that loop is progressive that's why i mentioned it there and then it is going to check the condition right so here there is a text expression if it is true it is going to execute the same part again if it is false that means end of loop end of loop so here it says this is a exit control uh, loop why because see, this is a loop. This is the beginning point. This is the end point. At the end point, it is going to check the condition. That's why it is. Once you understand, can you tell me the output of this code snippet? Think about and tell me. You just follow the execution control right flow of execution control then you will come to know yes one says the output is going to be print five times right hello world five times hello world one two three four and five times yes the hello world is going to be print five times very good can you tell me the output of this code snippet Same output. No, that is wrong. Any other answer? It looks same with only one character different that is the semicolon. So whenever the loop statement is terminated by semicolon in the entry control loop structures, that means it would be considered, means the system will consider there is no body of loop. So here, this is going to execute once, then it will check condition. Second, then body of loop will not be considered because it is terminated here. So it will directly go to this part, third, then it will again check the condition, no body. So it will go to the part three. So it will go and perform this repetitive action. Where body of loop is not going to perform. So hello world is going to print only once. 
hello world is going to print only once means in entry control loop if you have mentioned the semicolon at the end means the body of loop is not going to be considered here i hope you understand this now surprisingly if somebody will tell you that this is a one code snippet given to you in form of the for loop can you transform it to while so yes just you need to take care of the order of execution of for and while loop control structure to remain same so let us put first initialization then write the condition as it is in the body of loop you write the action in the body of loop the last statement is to be the progressive part that is increment or decrement and then the body of loop completes so if you will follow this syntax definitely you would be able to transform the for loop to the while loop can you do the transformation of this code snippet to the uh, use of while loop control structures and can you tell me the output yes yes your answer is right first you need to place i equal to 10 then same condition as it is in the while as per the syntax then the actions see out hello world as it is then increment decrement that means it is minus and then the body of loop completes yes this is the completely right one the action means the same statement is to be there here see out hello world and end l right so i hope you have enjoyed this session if you have any questions please write comment to the uh, comment part of this video